How to use Trello for social media management of clients' pages. Let's jump into it. So welcome guys, thank you very much for joining us again. Today we're going to be discussing how to use Trello to manage social media pages for clients. If you're a client, stick around because this is going to give you an in-depth look about how this board is set up, how to interact with it, and maybe you can share this with your social media management agency as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually create a brand new board. We're going to start from scratch and we're going to build it from there so that you understand each step of the process. So let's create a new board. This board is going to be called social media and we're going to create it. So we've hopped into the board. So we're going to have to create a few lists. The first list is going to be to do. The next list is going to be work in progress. And obviously you can name these columns as you wish. If you want a further in-depth look at how columns and cards work, you can jump into one of our other um, tutorials, sorry, not columns, lists, and you can see exactly how they work. We're just going to run through this part here. So work in progress, um, work for approval, approved work, and then scheduled. So we've created a to-do list, a work in progress list, work for approval list, approved work list, and scheduled list. You can also create a completed list, um, but that's not always necessary. It depends exactly how you want to set up your workflow. You can obviously, as I mentioned, name these lists as you wish, but we find that something like this works really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few cards in to do. So what is the to do section? The to do section is all the social media content planning you want to do for the month ahead. So as you are working on posts or content for your social media, you will be able to add the cards as posts on this list. So I'm going to do give an example. Let's say we're working with a coffee shop. So we want to say weekly coffee special is going to be our first post. Then we're going to have a client appreciation post. Then we're going to have a coffee photo post. And then we're going to perhaps have a Friday happy hour post. All right, so here we've created the post that we want to do for the client. What we like to do is we like to schedule a month in advance or as far in advance as we can. This gives us enough time to work on the post, gives the client enough time to actually give us the content, or should we have to create the content for them, it gives us enough lead time for that. So what we will then end up doing is we create due dates. So say the next due date, we're going to work for the month to come. So the first due date is on the second. There we go. The next card's due date is going to be on the third. Coffee photo due date is going to be on the fourth. And then the Friday happy hour post will be on the fifth. So what this due date does is it gives us an idea of when these posts must go out. What we like to do is we like to make sure that these posts are scheduled a week in advance. So we want to make sure we run through this flow of work in, in time so that these posts are scheduled a week before they have to go out. Why do we do that? Let's make sure that if there's any changes that have to happen on short notice or if there's any other posts that come out of the blue that are perhaps ad hoc, we have the majority of our work already done and complete. Then we don't have to worry about it. Both the client and ourselves have peace of mind. Everything's going to flow well. So once the to-do is filled out, and this is obviously you work together with your client on the media strategy for this, you can move these cards across to work in progress. So this is generally the section that we focus on as an agency. This is where we perhaps add copy to the post in the description. We add attachments of the files or designs that we'll be using. And this is really an internal list for us. The client doesn't have to worry about this list. The reason that he likes to see this list is so that he can see how far we are progressing. And obviously, if he notices that we're coming up on the due date and no work is being done, 
you can send us messages and check up on us. So once we've completed the work in progress and we are happy with the posts as they are, we move them over to work for approval. So this is where the client comes in. The client wants to comment, give any feedback on the posts once they enter the section. If they are happy with it, they can immediately move it across to approved work and we know that we can continue as an agency. If not, they can click in the post and they can say, give feedback saying, no description. There we go. So the client might leave us a comment saying, oh, you forgot the description. This post isn't approved and they won't move it across. Then we can make sure we attend to it and we add the client in the comment section. We reply to them and obviously now we're just ourselves, but we could say at wizards, please see new description. So then the client can review the post and once he's happy, he can move it across to the approved work section. So something that is really important here is that the client understands that they must move the cards along in the flow. Some clients tend to only write inside here approved, but then they leave the card in the work for approval section, which can be very confusing and is not ideal. So this is something that's really important to show the client that the drag and drop system of Trello is really easy to use. It's very visual, it helps us to see where we are at and make sure that we also understand when posts are truly approved. So once the work is in the approved section, we as an agency now go to work, we take all the descriptions, all of the content that is here ready to go out, and we put it into the scheduling software that we use. So that allows us then to schedule it on that side. Unfortunately, Trello does not have that capacity internally. So from there, it's a bit of a um, physical thing that we have to do. We take the content from Trello and then we upload and schedule it on the other software to whichever platforms we are using, be it Facebook, Instagram, etc. Once that is done, we move it across into scheduled. And then the client again can see, okay, everything is ready to go out. We've made sure it's scheduled. The post should run as they need to. Then when the posts are completed, we can have a completed list here and we can actually move them into completed once they have been posted. Because I'm sure as you know, Facebook can be sometimes notorious for not posting scheduled content. So this is also just a nice way to keep an eye on if everything is running and flowing smoothly. So that is a very basic breakdown on how we as an agency use Trello to manage the social media pages for clients. For clients, this is a really nice and easy, simple to use system to keep track of you as an agency and to make sure that you are on time and you're hitting your deadlines. And for you to work with your client, this takes all of that conversation out of your other messaging apps or systems or mails and allows you to track everything regarding their social media on your Trello board. And it keeps it all in one place. It keeps it post specific because they're giving comments per post on these cards and it allows you to also easily make sure that we don't lose track of that in a long feed or thread of conversation. So that is very simple. Um, we will be going into more depth about how to use these boards successfully. But for that, stick around for more Trello tutorials which are to come. Like the page, subscribe, make sure that you stick around with us. Keep an eye out for future tutorials that are coming out. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.